Turn it on the Jets up the sideline. Franklin cuts it inside. Still on his feet. He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, UCLA. You know, uh, going to UCLA, um, I was recruited as an athlete and, and played safety, then switched to running back and was six on the depth chart and, you know, just had to work my way up. And I was blessed, you know, to, to break the, you know, career rushing record. But, uh, I mean, it was truly awesome to play at UCLA. Going to the NFL was something I dreamed of for so long. And when it was appro approaching, I mean, you nervous because you don't know who's going to call you, when it's going to happen. Hello? Yes, sir. No, I was uh, blessed to be drafted in the fourth round by the Green Bay Packers, and I just start crying when I got the phone call, and I ran to my mom and just gave her a big hug, and to my nephew and nieces, and just grabbed them, and it was just, it was an amazing feeling, you know, because it wasn't necessarily just about being drafted. You know, I'm coming from South Central LA, where a lot of people, you know, in my neighborhood really don't don't do anything. You know, I was the first one to go to college, and and just really to inspire my community to dream and to become something. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the NFL, but like dreams do exist in the neighborhood. It was so much, you know, that call meant so much, not to me, but to my community and my family. It was about the 14th game of the season. Uh, we were playing the Minnesota Vikings at home, Lambeau Field. So now I was back at kick return. First play of the game, first quarter. Um, and the ball was kicked, uh, pretty much. I caught it, ran 10, 15, 20, 25, and pretty much I got hit, and, and the ball came out. And um, I looked to the right, and um, I'm trying to move to the ball, get the ball, and I was pretty much completely paralyzed from my neck down, pretty much. I couldn't move at all, and eventually got my feeling back and, and jogged to the sideline, and it took me in. And at first, initially, we just thought I had a concussion. Um, and getting the MRI, what we found was uh, pretty much a, a bruise on my spinal cord, you know, and a spinal contusion. So I was advised to just go talk to a few doctors. So I went to go see different doctors throughout the country. And the first doctor I've seen in Chicago, he was like, man, you probably will not, won't be able to come back and play. And I was like, man, I don't, I don't want to hear that. I, I, I'm, I'm playing football, you know. And I went to go see a doctor in New York. He, he said the same thing and the doctor in California. And it just, it started to kind of become a reality. I have some um, unfortunate news uh, about Jonathan Franklin. We just had to make the decision where I had to medically retire and walk away from the game of football. He will, he will not be back with us, um, but I, I can't say enough about him as a person. Uh, he's as classy as a young man that's, that's walked through these doors. Anybody that's had a chance to get to know him, um, just on and off the field, I mean, he, he's a class act. Man, I smile now, you know, because it's blessed where I'm at. But back then, it, it was tough, you know, as a as a young man, you know, and it's sad to say, I mean, all you know is football. You know, that's all you prepare for. Are you prepared for the NFL? And you're going to have this amount of money. You're going to live good, retire, and, and that's it, and help your family out. And when I had to retire, it was scary because football was my identity. Football was my life, and I was losing that. Um, even working out. I mean, I always worked out to, to, you know, have the starting job or, you know, to run for this amount of yards. And now it's like, what am I working out for? Or how long do I work out? Or how hard do I work out? So, like, life kind of just slapped me in the face and kind of knocked me down. And it humbled me, you know, and I had to redefine who Jonathan was. I had to find my confidence. I had to find my joy, my happiness. And, it was, it was a long process of depression, of crying, of sleepless nights. Um, I would say a, a, about a year, a year and a half to where I'm like, okay, I know who I am now. I had everything I wanted and it was completely taken away. I was mad at the world. But I told myself that I was worth something. And if no one ever told you, I'm telling you all now, you are all worth something. So I would say I'm involved in community outreach. You know, I have an opportunity to play a part in develop, developing the community and a youth and high school football platform. I'm gonna talk to y'all about the power of choice and how we all have that power. But the choices we make will either take us to our dream, as I learn, bring us happiness, or have us completely lost and wasting the life, the one life that we have. You know, I, I don't think like, these things just happen by accident or by coincidence. I really meant, really believe that 
I wasn't meant to play football forever, you know, and I'm so thankful and happy that I can say that and be joyful and smile in spite of, you know, the game being away.